loyalty to a college and a country come from different origins. You choose where you go to school, you can't choose where you're born, but it's an honor to play for both. Corey Sendor enters the senior season at Ohio after a highlight filled 2013-2014 and a summer spent with Senegal. Sendor played for his home country in the FIBA World Cup in Spain. I think it's just a great experience. Um, I think whenever you get the chance to go to another country and uh, learn their culture and see how they live over there, it's always a good opportunity and that's just going to help you become uh, uh, more mature and more open-minded. So, I mean, I, going to Spain was a great experience for me. Senegal went 2-3 and three with an upset win over Croatia and the other victory was over Puerto Rico. Endor averaged just under six points per game. He had two and a half rebounds and a steal in just over 21 minutes per contest. The experience was twofold, help his country and help himself by learning how to be a better player. The captain of our national team, um, he was a pure shooter and uh, so I was trying to learn from him, you know, the way he shot because I think last year you can see I was shooting flat. 90% of my shot last year was inside, so that's something that I really got to keep, you know, so I'm just trying to diversify my game, um, shoot a lot of more trees, pick and pop and stuff. International competition is a different level, but there are parallels between the global game and the one played in the roundhouse. How hard you play, how you lead and communicate goes a long way. I think guys give me a lot of respect, not only because of the way I play, but uh, because I'm a I work hard and uh, I'm always vocal and I'm always you know, willing to talk to anybody and uh, I think that's going to help me communicate to them um, off and on the court. That's going to help the team to get better and go, get more mature. Like you said, we got a young, lot of young guys, so talking to them will help them a lot. It was a new experience for Endor and he'll have another one this season at Ohio, playing for Saul Phillips. Uh, we get along, me and him. It's just like we've been working together for more than two years and he only been here what, six months and I was away for a bit for a longer time so I think like me and him get along and uh, often on the court obviously and uh, on the court he's just amazing like he know what he's doing he knows basketball and he most most of anything he care about us as a player. Basketball like life is all about progression using experiences to become a better player and person both on and off the court. Endor comes back to his team after being apart from them during the summer, and he hopes all of that takes the Bobcats to where everyone wants them to go. I definitely want to make it to the NCAA tournament. I think that's my unique goal uh, since I've been here, since day one. So, I mean, this is my last year. Um, that's my ultimate goal, just make it to the NCAA tournament and trying to make a run. You're, you're totally free. You're on your own to do anything you like. So what are you doing when nobody's watching you? And again, I think just doing the right thing off the court will help you get better, and that will translate, you know, on the court too. Um, and that's really important. Endor was born in Senegal. He chose to be a Bobcat, and his experience of playing for his home country could lead to even greater things for his time at his college home. For Tanner Smith and Ryan Cochran, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.